Hey, it's me, Jim Farrell, back from 3 Your Skill with another tutorial for Cinema 4D for beginners. And today I want to show you how to automate transformation orders. Um, I want to show you today how to um, carry out specific transformations in a certain order. So maybe if we have a look here at our transformer model here so i want that this transformer models carry out some um, transformations in a specific order so let's say i want that the transformer object first opens his wings and after that he should rotate it by 90 degrees and then the turbine comes out so simply like that so i want that this transformations will be carried out each one after the other in a certain order. So how can we do that? First of all, I bring all back in its um, default position. So I need a kind of, but since I um, have to let this spaceship often take off, so this would be too laborious and tedious for me to animate this every time again and again. So we need something, um, a controller object or a driver, which I can simply drag, um, for instance, along this set axis here. Um, and then he carries out all these transformations step by step. Um, so first of all, let's bring this driver also back. So first of all, I have created here drivers. This is simply a, 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 a spline object. So I call this driver and I freeze it simply so that this is the zero position. And first of all, um, to make poses or to pose something or yeah, with sliders, we need a pose morph tag. So this is our friend now. So I add this pause move tag to this null object because this null object contains all the children here which are belong this uh, null object. So I simply go to rigging and choose here pose morph. And we need of course to manipulate the hierarchy, the whole hierarchy. So he should recognize the whole hierarchy and we want to uh, manipulate the position and of course let's go back here and the rotation then we go inside the pose morph tag and he already created a pose so i call this pose now um, wing open and the next pose i call here wing rotate and the last pose we want the turbine extend so let the turbine extend yes and let's select here the wing open then i select here my wing here and first of all i rotate it here open the wing here to this position here and then i go back to my pose morph tag and select the root rotate wing rotate and since i want to rotate it from the state of the when the wing is open i simply have to check here in place so he so i can manipulate from this position so i simply rotate it now by 90 degrees and now i get to go to turbine extend and drag the turbine out so like this and now i switch to animate as you can see i also could of course animate this by hand so but since i have to let the spaceship take off um a lot of times so i would do this um, I would it would be too laborious for me or too tedious to do this every time again and again so I need of course this driver object which does all the job for me so the first thing I 
add to the driver object a projection tag because I don't want to the object just to drive here. I just want the object to drive here uh, 100 centimeter in the set axis and the other so that I can't cannot accidentally move it um, on the way or on the set axis. I simply can drag it 100 centimeter along the set axis. And the pulse tag is also done. And now I um, need, of course, a driver tag. So because this is a driver, the driver needs a driver tag. So go to rigging and call it driver. So he drives something. The first thing I want to drive it on the position. I want to drive the position because we want to drag it along the set axis. This is a position parameter. So the next thing is uh, 100 centimeter max. I want just 100 centimeters. Yeah. And since my pose morph tag contains three poses I want to control. So uh, we need here in the resolution, of course, four because the first state is empty. So this is the default pose. Nothing happens here. And the object which should be driven is, of course, my post move tag. So I drag it here into the <coughs> post move tag uh, driven object slot. And as you can see, as soon as I did, did this, um, all the poses are now available here. And the next step is I have to switch here the mode into list relative. So here I have totally control which poses uh, are controlled at this at a specific state here. So first of all, I switch here to list relative. And also I activate here clamp because I don't want to accidentally drag it more than 100 centimeters. It is protected, but if it would be not protected, then I could drag it more than 100 centimeters along the axis and then the poses would be uh, exaggerated. So this is not what I want. So clamp is also checked here now. And the first step is off. Okay, nothing happens. And the next step is here. I need the move uh, the wing open. Though. So the wing should when I drag it here to this position, maybe 20 centimeters, then the wing open is 100%. In the next day, step from 20 centimeters to uh, or 25 centimeters to 50 centimeters. I want that the um, rotate, then the wing open. So the off, then the wing is open 100 centimeter and the wing rotate is 100 centimeter off, open. Uh, yeah. And then the next last step is, of course, the turb turbine extend, the wing rotate and the wing open. So all carried out in this order here off, open, rotate, extend. So when I'm here in the last state, the wing open is 100% is open, the wing rotate is 100% open, and then the turbine extend is 100% uh, percent open. And here at this state, the turbine is not activated. Um, still not activated. Okay, this is my transformation order. And and now when I simply drag the object here along, so I have here to also switch here from X axis to Z axis. And now when I drag the object, as you can see here, now the wing opens here. So about at 25 centimeters or what? Then the wing rotates and then the turbine, turbine comes out. So this is now my transformation thing, how you can build transformer objects or something else. Yeah. Okay, this was my quick tutorial for beginners. I hope you had fun and this it was useful for you. I wish you all a Merry Christmas and yeah, have a nice day.